This section examines Ohm's law. Voltage can vary across different points in this circuit, but measuring current at any point reveals it is always 2 amperes. This can be found without an ammeter by using Ohm's law. If resistance stays the same but voltage rises, then the greater force pushes more current through the circuit. If resistance stays the same but voltage decreases, then less current will flow through the circuit. If voltage and amperage are recorded each time they change, and each voltage is put over each amperage, the resulting fraction always equals the same number. Total resistance of a circuit in ohms always equals the voltage divided by the amperage. This is Ohm's law. R stands for resistance, V for voltage, and I for current in amperes. R equals V divided by I. Therefore, I equals V over R, and V equals I multiplied by R. This triangle is an easy way to remember them. R equals V over I. I equals V over R, and V equals I multiplied by R. With Ohm's law, as long as any two of the three quantities are known, the third can be calculated. Instead of breaking into a circuit to measure current with a meter, if voltage and resistance are known, Ohm's law may be used. Battery voltage can be measured, 12 volts. The value of the resistor is on its casing, 4 ohms. Current then equals voltage, 12 volts divided by resistance, 4 ohms. 3 amperes of current flows through every point in this circuit.